Hello everyone, welcome back into this tutorial on Informatica MDM. In today's tutorial we are going to see or we are going to learn one of the important API that is services integration framework API called as a cleans request or cleans API. So what is the use of this API and how to implement using Java that is what we are going to see in today's session. The cleans API is used to call the cleans functions which are available in MDM hub. You can call the cleans function available in the MDM hub but not the not but not the cleans function which are available in the IDQ. That is important thing to note here. Doesn't matter if the cleans function you create called as a custom cleans function or the cleans functions which are already available. For example, concatenate is one of the cleans function availab already available in the MDM hub. If you are following my YouTube videos, you might have seen in my earlier videos about the how to create custom cleans function. If you haven't, then I would recommend to go through that because in that tutorial we have seen how to implement the length and index of custom cleans function. So this cleans function are a custom develop using Java code so we can call these cleans functions in our safe API how let's see how we are going to do that so first of all what are the prerequisite we have to make sure the cleans functions are ready and those are thoroughly tested for example here the length function is one which we are going to use in today's session so let's see whether this length function is working properly or not so I'm going to provide a input string and let's see whether it's getting calculating the correct length. So it is calculating length as a 4 because 4 characters present. If I add 2 more then it should return me 6 and that's correct. So cleans function is working correctly. There is no restriction on using space for the library disc, uh, library name. The here is the ABC custom cleans function is a library name and the length is a function name. So the the function name normally recommended uh, it is recommended that do not have the space character but you can use that space in your library name so that should be fine so that is one of the thing so once you have this ready you can go to your MDM hub you can create the connection using the Cyprian client and Cyprian client factory and also using the client pool so that the connection pool will be created for Cyprian object now what the next in the next step we have to implement the cleans api so what this cleans api does is cleans api requires few of the parameters for example it requires the library name it requires the function name it requires the input parameters and output parameter names in our case, let's see what is the library name. The library name is custom uh, ABC custom cleans function. What is function name? So you can click on the function and you'll get the name in the general tab. The name of function is length. So you have to use this name, not any other thing. What are the parameter names? The input parameter name is string one. So you have to use this, not the description one. Sometimes like string underscore one it might be mentioned in the name section in the description it might be just string space one so you have to use the the string name the output parameter is length so we need this parameter we need this input parameter we need the output parameter we need the name of function and we need name of library so this is the name so these are the things required to call any cleans function so doesn't matter whether it's present in your custom cleans function or any other cleans function which are predefined in the MDM hub. Now we got this information. So how to use that? As I mentioned, we have to create a class. You can create any class name. Uh, you can give any name to a class. I just gave the cleans API as a name. We have to create the Cyprian client as a global variable. Then once you create that, um, let me do one thing. Once you create that, we have to write a cleans method. We'll first see the cleans method and then we'll go back to the main method. So we have to write a cleans method 
which will be invoked from outside of your API also. You can call it from web service, you can call it from simple Java code or you can call from your batch where the, you can invoke the Java classes. So this is a cleanse method. This here the very first thing we need to create is we have to create the cleanse request object. So once this request object is created, we have to set the function name. So cleanse function name should follow this pattern. We have to provide the cleanse library name first and then the function name. The reason is this length function or this function might be available in different libraries. So in order to avoid that ambiguity, we have to provide this library name. Because in a single library, there should be only one function with the same name. We cannot have the duplicate function names. That is one restriction. So that's the reason we need to provide the library name. So we set the uh, function name. Now we have to set the input string. So input string, the name of the string you will get here. The name of field is string1. That we have to set. How to set that? Go to your Java Eclipse and create a record object and also create this field and give the field name as a string1. So that is from where it is coming. Then we have to set some value because we have to testing it. So you can pass this value from its cleanse function also if that is getting called from somewhere else. But our code is going to call from this location only. So we are just setting this value. You can set any other value also. Let me just set the testing. So which is of length 7, 3, 3, 6 and 7. So we, we, we are expecting answer is it should return a 7 length. So we are setting the record and calling the save client. We are processing that request and we are getting the response. So res response on the response we we can call the get cleanse data because that is what we are getting the output so whatever the output columns are mentioned that will be fetched from your uh, uh, cleanse data so cleanse data contains output information so you can get the list of record and you can fetch the uh, the record so suppose this is the record output object and from there you are getting the field this field should match with the water the name of your field in the output if you have the multiple fields then you can create the multiple lines of code here and print them get the big int value because this is defined as an integer you should use the big int if it is string then use the string value that is simple you get the big int just convert to integer to print on your console if you are going to use that then return this value instead of returning void so we are ready with the cleanse function we have to call it so i'm just calling from the main method you can call from any other class also so we are creating a separate client here on the separate client we are calling the pool so that we are getting the pool connection and on that pool we are calling uh, we are uh, this making this pool connection available while calling this cleanse operation so you can see the cleanse operation we are calling that so in the main method we are just initializing that once it is done, we are calling the cleanse function. So the cleanse function will be called. So this is the cleanse function it will invoke and it will do the, all the operation. And once this is uh, done, it should print the length here. So what I'm going to do just before this, I'll just add some information saying that length of given string is so this will print me this length of string so let's see how it works so i just wrote this code in order to execute just right click run as a java application so it is executing and i can see length of given string is 7 if you change the value so let me make shorter and run it again right click run as a java application it should give me 4 right we, we got the answer if you want to increase and you can just run it now we can see the correct value is 10 so length of so it is correctly calculating so it is using this cleanse library and the length function and it is calculating the length of this input string this input string may vary but right now we are just hard coded here so this is the way you can call any other cleanse function in your safe API this cleanse API what have we created this can be also called from any other API or any other Java class so this is the way 
you can achieve the calling of cleans function from CP API. If you have any questions or queries about Informatica MDM or CP API, you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you are enjoying these tutorials. Uh, do not forget to subscribe my channel and have a nice time.